Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. How are you today? Welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie and we have a lot of new subscribers. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. Thank you. Okay. In today's video, I am going to be making myself a notebook that I can take notes in for techniques or videos that I want to reference back to. Um, as you can see on my desk here, this was one of my super cool Christmas gifts um, from my mother-in-law. And these are, I, I mean, I, I didn't know these existed until she gave them to me. And actually I think what in like a couple, a couple of past lives, um, Mr. Tim Holtz did bring this out. So pretty cool, but it just has a lot of different techniques. So I am going to kind of tear this up and put it back together with some added notebook paper so I can take notes in and have this as well. And if I run out of space, I have the second one too. I know I'm probably not making sense, but that's what we're doing today. My light is bothering me. Is it even necessary, the light? I don't know. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, but yeah, these are pretty cool. And then she got me another one too, but that one already has like a, a spiral bound. So what I'm gonna be using is a bunch of line paper. I have that off to the side here, we'll get to that. I'm going to use my mini cinch to bind it together with this thing. And yeah, I think this will be fun. And yeah, I uh, I don't think I said it. I was going to say, you know, Tim, Tim Holtz even says during his lives, like take notes so you can come back and, and uh, you know, follow, follow the different techniques and demos that he does. So, and this won't be just for his lives, but May May, I love May May. She does a lot of stuff that I want to take note of, especially her folios. They're just, she, she just makes them so easy to follow. So to like be able to jot down like what the title of the video is called if I see something I like would be so helpful. So that is what this is going to be for. So let's get into some line paper. So I am only going to do one for now. There are 48 pages in here. So that means there's 24. I don't know, it's a little weird. It goes from 48, but then this back cover says 51. So where's 49 and 50? I don't know. But the front cover doesn't have a number on it. It starts at one over here. I don't know. So maybe this is 49 and 50, but then you also have the back cover. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Move on. Okay. I have my dinner. My dinner's on the way. All right. Here is my lined paper. I don't know what you can see of that. I have it labeled line paper. It's my favorite type of paper. So I'm just thinking I go in each one of these and uh, pull out a page that isn't written on. Oh my, I use this planner. Brain dump. Oh, that could be good. Is that page free? Weekly reflection. Okay, we'll use this. We'll have to clean up edges. But I just want to use like one of each of my different types of paper. I think that'll be fun. I'll have to cut some down. I didn't even know I had this. 
This is fun. Small room graph paper. Cool. Hold on, I think that we have a middle of a signature somewhere. There we go. Next. Oh, do we want the yellow or the blue? Oh, this is the one I really like. It's like nice and sturdy. I thought I was all out of this. Almost. That might be a little silly. But I said every page. <laughs> Do you guys see the little bits flying? Uh, this one and like this one, I'll probably cut in half and only use half of it. Oh look, my own to-do list. Okay, we can put that in there. Why not? This one's all crinkly and whatnot, so we'll use that in, in mine. But nice, clean page back. Some tiny, oh, graph paper. different types of graph paper, okay. Okay, that is what I had in my bins. There are some that I want to Print, I think. Let's see how many pages we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18 pages. And I'll have, I would like to do like every other page, but I am worried that this is gonna be too thick to actually move around the spiral. So I might have to edit that. My dinner should be here very soon. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and Let's see. Do you guys want to watch me cut these all down to size? Probably not, that would be pretty boring. So I'm gonna cut them to size, print my other sheets, and we'll come back tomorrow morning and start taking apart this lovely book and putting it back together. I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, I am back, I cut some papers down to fit. Now we need to chop this up. 
I am just going to take off the glue part rather than trying to pull every page apart and everything. Yeah, just I think it will be easier just to kind of slice this whole chunk off. Bit by bit. And it will take a while to kind of get through it all. I do want to decorate a little bit because that's fun. That's the fun part. <clears throat> the, the rest of this is just trying to get this to all function. Now, now we have to decide which papers go where. Does that matter? I don't think so, but you know, I don't know. Just kind of. go and see and then if I want to move things around I will move things around Perfect. I did it right. <laughs> this back page is so cool. Alrighty. Either some of my pages are a little too long or they're just not lining up over here. I think it's okay though, that there's some sticking out. I'm okay with that. I don't know if I want you sticking out the top though. Why are you sticking out the top? Go down. <sighs> it is all the way down. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I like that one. I am a little worried this is gonna to be too thick to go on here. But now I have to make a template. I also have to go feed my dog. All right, how do I do this? These are a half inch apart. So, I think if we do a quarter, this doesn't feel straight. Still doesn't feel straight. Why are you not straight? A quarter. this out Pop that and then we have a quarter here yay oh I got it right the first time okay now, wouldn't it be nice if we could just 
put this all in here, but we can't. We can't do that. Okay. Let's turn this book the right way up. I don't think I need this anymore. Okay. So, um, this was a template. This was eight and a quarter to match the height of the book. And I just made sure that it was gonna, you know, the holes were gonna line up nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through every page and just make the first punch. And I wanna make sure I'm making the punch on the correct side, which is going to be this side, so it opens this way. Yes. And I can do multiple pages at once if they're about the same size. Oh, see, some of these aren't the same size. This one's slightly shorter. Why is that? I don't know. So I'm going to do one page at a time. And I will speed it up for you guys, of course, because that would be very boring for you to watch. <sighs> Look at it, already I messed it up. Okay. This is a book for me, so it's okay if that is there. It's a fun little design. That's better. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put on a podcast and punch, punch away and speed it up for you guys. I will be back soon. Oh my gosh, that almost took me 30 minutes to do. Yikes. All right, I don't need all of this. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I will cut it off when I'm done. So, I think what you're supposed to do is put the back cover on the front front where you start with the back cover and then the front no 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 <laughs> So we'll do, we do the back cover last, I think. And I'm gonna line all the pages up with the bottom. At the bottom. This is going to take a while. Okay, I need to turn it this way. I think that will be easier. There we go.
who I am pushing this. I hope this works. Okay, now I always have to look up which way this goes in because I can never remember. I can't find the directions. I think it goes in like this, I hope. This way. And now the back cover goes to the back. Yay! We did it! This took a really long time to do, but I hope it functions well. Okay, it is getting late, so I Ah, uh, yay. I am going to go to bed and I will come back tomorrow morning and we will decorate and finish up this project. I am so excited. I'm so excited to use it. Start taking notes and just planning out some projects and stuff. And I am so excited. I love it. It looks so good. Okay, I will be back again in one second. Alrighty, it is day three of working on this. This is gonna be the longest project and the shortest video, I think. I feel like it's taking so long to make this. All right, I pulled some Tim Holtz things, of course. And I pulled some ribbons and trims and whatnot because I think I want a dingly thing which is weird because I don't really like dingly things like I feel like they get in the way and I think this probably will get in the way but I don't know I'm being weird and I want it for some reason so if I tie it on here <clears throat> I think that would get in the way, but what if I, I know these aren't the Tim Holtz ones. I couldn't afford the Tim Holtz ones. Um, okay. Can I like clip it on? And then I can remove the clip. That way it looks pretty when it's sitting on the shelf. Although this hole is very small. And my ribbons and stuff, ugh, my ribbons and stuff will not fit through that. Okay. Huh. Well, I created a dilemma for myself. <laughs> Let's just try and see what happens. Scissors. We'll start with one and then like we'll keep building and building to see what happens. 
already struggling. Wow. Get in there. Thank you. Now, if I do it this way, it's going to be much harder to take off. <clears throat> okay, so I know that's only one. And I was going to put four to five. I think the place that will give me trouble potentially is like the back side. If I pull it up though, it should be okay. I think what I want to do is put maybe a tab on the front just so I always know where that is when I'm uh, flipping it over and whatnot. Okay, so that one, I have some of this. I'll make this a little bit shorter, I think. Because this is a little clunky. Well, for now, I'll use this clip to keep them together. There we go. What is this? I love the packaging. It looks old. I don't know if it is, though. It came from my grandma. It looks like it's a seam binding. Yep. Starting to get a sore throat, which really stinks because that doesn't happen a lot for me. And I thought I was like done with being sick because we kind of had like stuffy noses in the house. And... But yeah, now I have a sore throat. My husband had a sore throat. So... I really like this one. It's so pretty. I love it. All right. I think this could potentially be good. I was gonna add some lavender velvet, but will it go? It will kind of stand out from the rest. Hmm. Oh, I can just put the rest of this on there. No, I don't like that. Okay, we'll just leave it as is. Can always add more later if I want to. Okay, now how do I do this? Show you in all together. Come on. Tweezers probably be helpful in this situation. Okay, now we need hoops. It's pretty. It's weird that I like it so much. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bulky. Again, it's gonna be the issue when I want to kind of write on the back side, but 
I can always take it off if it becomes too much. I think it'll be okay. I'm not gonna wanna write all the way up in that corner too much, so. Okay, now what? It does kind of help to tell where the the front cover and back cover are. Okay, there we go. Tighten it up and it sits a little bit better. Nice. I like it. Okay, I guess I can always keep this on there. All right, got some words and I think I want either noted or there was an inspire, but I think it was a larger tile that said that this size, which I think this is too big. Yeah. Yeah, that's too big. Get the little ones again. Story. Focus, sweet life, love, world, dream, epic, heart, faith, wings, think, think, um, glory, make, junk, kind, make, could work. I'll put noted if it's, what am I losing by using noted heart? Okay, that's fine, I guess, I don't know. I don't think I'll miss it. All right, what else do I need? I also do have some of this. I keep trying to use it. I think this is the project I can use it on. I should sew it straight on. Okay, I'm not going to because my machine currently is set up for fabric, not paper, but I'm gonna, Stick that on there because I can. Do I need some up here? That will cover his name. Should I put some under his name? And then I'll probably never be able to use this stuff again. I like it. This is the same color though. <sighs> okay, that's pretty. I need some other color. I know it's a very neutral book, but. I don't think a label is the right right way to go. I don't know. Ugh, none of these things are open yet. Here's a little blue. See some green and pink in here. I don't really want to dump the whole thing though. Mm. Drawer six eight seven. 
What happened in drawer 687? What's there? Sounds important. Okay, that helps. Anything else? I don't know. I think I like that. Some sparkle. I know I have the sparkles here. Do I want sparkles on here though? Always. I always want sparkles. Okay, I got a glue. Let us use fabric tack because these are kind of shiny on shiny sometimes. That is not liked by glues. that underneath. I did not put glue there. You should slide. Yeah, see that still isn't dry. Gosh, come on. Oh gosh, okay. Please dry, please stick. This stuck really well. Let's see what sparkly bits I can put on here. I didn't think of that earlier to grab them out. I don't know if pearls necessarily count as sparkle, but I mean, that could be fun. I kind of like it. Maybe the small one here. Yes, I am fussing about something that is for me. <laughs> but I want to like it. I want to use it. I want to have it out on Saturdays or Thursdays while I'm watching lives, taking notes. Maybe it goes live on Thursday. And Tuesday? I like the Thursday lives better. I don't know why, but they are different. Okay. And then, I don't think I asked you guys, I'm sorry. How are you all doing? <clears throat> I've just been sitting here complaining about me. It is, it is Friday. I am ready for the weekend. <laughs> I think tomorrow we are going to go up to Prescott and look at houses and maybe take a small hike. And maybe go to the zoo. So that is exciting already. I think it is done. Should we do a quick flip through? I don't know. Will that take too long? There's nothing. I mean, if you haven't seen the book, then there's something to see. I kind of, you kind of saw all the pages that I added. I did never check to make sure that everything stayed in order. I just, I just went and hoped for the best. Looks like I got it right though. So lots 
a writing space to take notes. Oh, whoops. All right. Get in there. There we go. I'm really excited. I like it. I kind of want to do the other one just to do the other one. I got to use every line paper that I owned. I love line paper. I don't know why. I got a thing for it. And now I have pieces of it all in one place too. Okay, my alarm just went off. There was that page. <clears throat> have to get my son ready for school. We'll have to make something out of here. That will be fun. A lot of different, a lot of different folds and pockets and stuff like that. a little tight back here come on sit nice I think there was yeah like one of these pages are kind of off so and that's the end Alrighty, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel inspired and motivated and get some good crafting time in today. If you are new and are still here, please consider subscribing. I have a big goal of meeting 1000 subscribers by 2025. Thank you again. Let's get together again soon.